In this screencast, we're going to create a web service client from this WSDO. So I copy the WSDO, I go into NetBeans, I create a new project, I call it uh, Test uh, Web Service Client, I click Finish, and I'll give this some more sensible name like org.demo. Okay, so here we are. Next, um, we're going to go New Web Service Client. Put in that WSDO URL and click finish. And now that WSDO URL is accessed, and in the output window we can see, well, we can see here this problem. This is the end of the um, WS import process. A variety of problems are found. Now we're going to solve those problems. I'm going to clean and build. And you can see here there are two kinds of problems. The first problem is about um, naming persistence object of string with a capital S and persistence object um, of string with a lowercase s. Here you can see string with a lowercase s and there's string with an uppercase s. And you can see here this error is caused because of Windows you cannot have both persistent object of string with lowercase s and with uppercase s. The same is true for persistent object of int. You can see here uppercase i, and you can see here lowercase i. So this is specifically for Windows. So that's one problem. This is actually the second problem. The first problem is about this object factory. Now, things are trying to be created inside of the same package. You see here xsd3, and that's all about xsd3 um, initially. What we want to do is we want to generate into different packages. So um, Matthias Blassing has created a very nice solution for this, and I've put this into my blog, and I'll refer to it. Um, you can see you can get to it by going blogsoracle.com slash herechan slash resource slash global customization of XML. I've taken that XML file, and I'm going to create this XML file here, and I'll call it uh, binding, or you can give it any name you like, and then I'm going to paste that content in here. And you can see that for xsd1, what's going to happen is that um, the package name will be um, data.serialization, and for xsd2, it will be a different package. So each of the xsds are going to use a different package. So this was a problem that they were all generated into the same package. So for each xsd, we now have a different package. Now the point is how to register this. So we go, so first of all, I want to press Alt Shift L, which you can see at the bottom in the status bar, look in the status bar. Alt Shift L copies the full path of the file to the clipboard. So now I can go from here to Edit Web Service Attributes, Wisdom Customization. I go down here and I add this as an external binding file. So yes here, put in the full path and then click OK. And now we're going to not have that the, the, the one problem, but only the other problem. So here you can see the other the problem um, about the packages is gone, and we just have the one with the persistent object of string. So simple solution, bit of a hack, but what we're going to do is we're going to look for all of those instances of the lowercase, and we're just going to um, find those instances. So here is, um, it's in XSD5, both of them. Um, so here, uh, here is, let's find the, the one. Um, so here, with the lowercase s, I'm going to add a 1 to the end of it. Just give it a unique name, basically. Um, let's go to the next one. And here's another one. And here's another one. This we could also probably do in our binding file. Um, somehow magically transform the, 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 the name to some other name. But for the sake of argument and as a first a draft of this, let's simply um, change the name. So if there's a lowercase s, we'll just add a 1 to it. And so one, well, add a 1 to the end of this one, 1 to the end of that one. And let's go to the next one. OK, so that's it. So now we clean and build again. So we should still have a problem, because we've only done the lowercase string, but not the lowercase int. And there you can see we don't have a problem anymore with the lowercase string. So now only the lowercase int. So we take this one um, and we copy this. And we stick it into a search, control F here, and we make sure it's match case. So we only found one, the ones with the lowercase int. So here it is. And again, we're going to add a one, 
and the one and the one and the one let's see if there's more yeah. I think that's it okay so now clean and build again this time there are no problems except ah there's still some instances of this so let's do another search for them so okay one 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 okay here we go there's another one and here's another one okay clean and build again and there's another one let's see we've missed a couple here you go so all the ones with the lowercase i um, in the int just change the name to have a one to make it unique and now we clean and build and let's see what happens okay now the you can see a whole bunch of classes are being generated here are the generated sources in the packages that we specified in the binding file by Matthias Blessing so now you can see all the classes are generated and you can use them in your own class so we could now say let's see see Mebius data so all the classes are now available with their documentation and we can use them in our Java code that's it hope it helps